Okay, this is the tutorial on skeletal mesh movement, so I'll go over movement as well as animation. Um, I'm not going to go over uh, doing your own custom animations yet, um, maybe in a different tutorial, but for today I'll just show you how to use uh, Epic Stock Animations. So, start out, go to the generic browser again, uh, which if you missed that, that's again this uh, little blue and white square up here. Let's go to, um, let's see, Iron Guard Mail here. And you can see over here, uh, SK underscore CH underscore Iron Guard underscore Mail A. Alright, it's kind of a mouthful, but there it is. So now I'll click on the floor again, and we'll go to Add Actor. And this time you want to add Add Skeletal Mesh, and then it gives the name of the Skeletal Mesh. Okay, now because his um, origin is about at his midpoint, we got to raise him up a bit here. And um, again, if you're if you're not on the right selection tool or uh, I mean movement tool, press spacebar until you get there. Um, so now that he's there, let's go and make a new uh, matinee for him, just like we did the other one. So we go and once we got the new matinee, we double click on that, and again, there's nothing in there, and we can go ahead and exit out of this. So we right click. Uh, and then we add new skeletal mesh group this time. And again, you can name them anything you want. I forgot last time, you can't add spaces though. So it, that might have given you some trouble, so sorry about that. But uh, So no spaces. So I'll just call them uh, male, because that's what he is. So you can see it already has this movement track in here automatically. And then it also has an animation track. So for movement, it's actually exactly the same as it was for basic mesh movement. So look at this, and I still have it set up for linear, um, but now in that one second, he moves over there, right? Now, uh, that's all that he does, though, just um, with movement, it just moves the mesh, mesh around, uh, but it doesn't make him move his arms or anything, and there's no way to do it like that from here. So let's go ahead and delete these for a minute. Now, if you click on the actual male A up here, and click group anim sets, now there's nothing in there, right? So if you click on this little uh, green uh, plus here, uh, real quick, I'll show you again. Click on the little green plus thing, and it adds a new uh, a new location for a new anim set. So if you click this little, it looks kind of like a light bulb or maybe a magnifying glass. If you click that, it opens up your generic browser again. Now, there's, there's nothing in here, uh, so we need to go and find one. So if you go to, I think it's ch all, uh, never mind, I'm sorry. CH Anim Human. Let's try that. Okay, yeah. And here we go. K Anim underscore base mail. Let's try that. Now I click on it once, then exit, and then click this little green arrow. And there it is, right? Now you can select a, a time, and I'll just say the beginning. Go to Anim, and then enter, just like you do to add a keyframe. And then look at this. You have all these animations here that are already ready for you. So I can show you here, uh, this is one that I always like, uh, B, or I'm sorry, CC Male Idle, and it actually goes uh, longer than five seconds, so I'm going to drag this out, oops, sorry, I missed, uh, drag this out so that it fits in the whole thing. If I press spacebar, it also starts to play, and you can see there he's already doing the animation, right? And this works great for any time that there's uh, an animation like this, where he's just, you know, standing around or, or whatever the case may be. Now I'm going to delete that and put in a little bit different one here. Um, let's say uh, I'm looking for one where he's actually moving. So let's go run rifle forward. Now he obviously doesn't have an actual rifle in his hands. Um, so you can see here though, uh, when we move that forward, he does the animation still, right? But he doesn't actually move any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and set it to looping. And what that does is it makes it so that every time it gets to the end, it's going to go back to the beginning and it's just going to go on like that forever. So let's see it in real time here. And there it goes. And you probably have a really poor frame rate of this right now, but uh, there it is anyways. And uh, so we can go back and stop that then. And now what we need to do is combine the animation with movement. So if we go back up to the movement track and let's find a good time. Usually, you should try to end it about the same time the animation actually ends. And let's press enter there. And we can see from the top view here, we'll drag him 
forward a bit, and it looks like my version of forward and their version of forward isn't quite the same. <laughs> so now let's see here. And look at that, now he's moving right along with it. And yeah, that was actually really bad, so let me redo that. Um, add another movement track here, because I just deleted my old one. And that's what my problem is. Let's go one more time here. Add a new movement track. Move him forward. Okay. So now, you can see there he goes moving forward with it, right? And what you want to do is make it so that you can see if you watch his feet here, when his foot is on the ground, you want it so that his foot's not sliding. Because if I, uh, if I do it like this, like let's say I say, hey, I want him to move really fast. Let's put it way up, you know, way, way up here. Well, you can see then, every time he steps, you can see his foot sliding. And you don't want that because obviously your foot doesn't really slide when you move. Likewise, uh, you don't want it to be the opposite where, you know, his foot slides because it's going too slow. You can see. So, we want it to be just the perfect amount. Uh, so you might need to test it out just a little bit, see what works. And that's a little bit too slow. So let's move forward a little bit more. And it's still a bit slow, but I'll call it good for now. Uh, another thing you can do is if you press... Uh, if you add a keyframe anywhere in the middle, you can still go and delete that last keyframe, and then it's still animated up to that first keyframe. So I just wanted to point that out real quick, even though it's not really uh, particularly useful here. So now I'm going to show you something else real quick that um, is kind of a little bit off topic. Actually, no, first I'll, I'll show you, uh, same with the other people. Uh, you can see he has no lighting by default. Uh, no actual lighting, like they have a Fresnel setup, but that's kind of different, so ignore that. Uh, and again, you can see the little haze from uh, the emissive channels. So let's go back here. Uh, and oh, I forgot, you can also get to the uh, properties menu by double clicking them. So then we need to go back to light environment and just like with the uh, interp actor, select uh, light environment enable like I just did. Sorry, I'll show you that again just so you can see it a little bit uh, slower here. Now if you click on them again, it'll update that. Now go back to lighting here and you can you actually cannot turn on the, the different channels for him um, just because he's a static, or uh, I'm sorry, a, a skeletal mesh. So it works a little bit differently there. But you can still turn on these other lighting channels if you want. Um, but as he is now, it should actually work out pretty well. So even with uh, Lit being on, let's go back into our matinee sequence, which I still have open someplace. Never mind, there it is. Uh, <laughs> and let's add. Uh, Crouch forward here, and I'll go ahead and set it to loop. And then remember, I showed you in that other video uh, to set, to pull these green ones all the way along if you want to actually loop the video. And, and you can see, look at that. Uh, just like with the static mesh, he's moving along, and he's uh, doing everything right. Like if you know what I mean. Like you can see the lights are hitting him appropriately. I can deselect him here. You can see it better. The lights are hitting him appropriately, he's casting dynamic shadows, and it's all working pretty well.